Hey guys, Vince here, back with another Super Coach video. Oh, another disappointing round, unfortunately. Um, season isn't going to feel like it's going to end well. We unfortunately had Parrish out again. Technically filled at the full 22, but we ended up with Greg Clark's two on the field. Uh, obviously, we moved Hall on, I decided. I just decided that was the better option if Hall is really going for. Potentially, it was only one to two weeks, but... I don't know, I just... With how unlucky I've gotten with Parrish, I just felt like it was going to be two to three. <laughs> so I decided to move on Hall. Um, yeah, it just it really sucks. The Parrish thing, I, I just... I don't know, obviously, I, I ran Guthrie last season, and I ran into the exact same problem. Brought Guthrie in, did his shoulder, and then was just in, out, in, out, in, out. Like, just ruined me. And it's so unfortunate for it to happen again. And you just... You make the correct calculated decision, you know, to the best of your ability, and then they get injured, unfortunately, and... There's just nothing you can do about it. That's just how the game works, unfortunately. And you, you can't predict that, so... Bit unfortunate. Uh, the whole thing, you can predict. That was greedy, to an extent. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just... It's really been killing my buzz. Like, I was really keen for us to climb towards the end of the season, and it just hasn't worked out. I kind of am looking more at my leagues now, because it's just gone kind of poorly overall. Um, and I'm hoping to take some of those instead, as I guess a... Um, compensation, and it wasn't quite the word I was looking for, but just as, um, yeah, as I say, compensation for having a terrible overall season, unfortunately. Um, I guess plenty of things to look forward to moving forward to next year. Plenty of things that did go well this week and have gone well seven weeks in a row as Pies got up again. I mean, we really looked like we were going to lose that game, and then that stellar fourth quarter, just like last week, and managed to get over the line, and Pies are looking good, so at least I'm enjoying watching the Pies each week, um, regardless of the Super Coach outcome. So, yeah, 2,239 points this week, not good. Dropped 1,210 places, down to 5,674. This is quite the opposite of how I thought the season was going to sort of pan out moving forward. Um, obviously, it's super late at night. I've got to be honest, guys, I was watching Stranger Things. Um, I started Season 1, like, a week and a bit ago because everyone was really hyping up how good it was, so kind of smashed through that, and uh, yeah, I was out watching that again last night in season four. I uh, just watched the first two episodes, so please no spoilers in the comments, I'd appreciate that, but that is honestly why it's so late. I really could have come in and done it earlier, and I just, yeah, I was just distracted watching that. <laughs> so let's jump on into it. Let's look at the team overall. Um, yeah, we lost a bunch of our leagues. wasn't good, but as you can see, we brought Bailey Dale in at the end of the day. Um, he's been performing really well, and even watching Dale play, Dale's just like it's just it's good to watch Dale play. He does the same thing that um, Hall does. He does the same thing that Short does. That you know, a lot of the defenders do. That Daniel Rich do. They take the kickouts. They're deadly kicks. They're long kicks. They get the handoff. They get the fifty meter goal. And they just they just relied on to kick the ball out of defense because they're just deadly kicks. And Dale is one of those players that, I mean, last week specifically, I remember watching him just absolutely teeing, I think, maybe Bont and Pally up inside. Like, just an absolute bullet of a pass, and it just nailed him right on his chest. Like, it just, it's so satisfying to watch. So, having Dale on the team to watch that and, like, be even more hyped up for those absolutely centimeter-perfect kicks, pretty keen for. Um, Sinclair came up with a good week, Dawson, not as good, but it's one of those things where it doesn't look as good because he's had such a fire last five weeks, but, you know, 80 really isn't that bad overall. Uh, Hewitt came back with a 123, hasn't had a big game like that for a while, so it was nice. Crisp, also a lower game, um, he was traveling really poorly, and then had a decent final quarter. Uh, Short with the 95, he started off strong, I think sort of fell off a bit. Uh, where am Ambrios, so... I, I killed that name. That's definitely not how I say it. But, um, yeah, both the 36. So I would have fielded that over the 76. So I guess an extra 40 points there, which is nice. Uh, obviously, Clary Laird, amazing. Uh, Miller, we went with the VC, as I said last week, of Miller into uh, Neil. I was kind of tempted to even push for Neil, but decided against it, which, you know, you, you should always take 135. And it was shown right here exactly why you take that 135. Uh, Neil comes out with an 89. And I know a lot of people had captain on him going into... Uh, Essendon. So McCray comes out at the 100, Kelly the 110, Cripps the 92, and then Greg Clark with the 2. 
So, yeah, it really sucks that Parrish was out again. Super annoying. Um, Wits came with 117, not bad. Darcy, 111. They're pretty nice scores. Uh, and Williams, we just used as a loop. And then Bont was a good score. Dunkley, who was like zero at quarter time, like, he just wasn't getting into the game. And honestly, I think was lucky to get over to 62. So, really brought it back. Uh, Will Brody, 88, which is nice. And then Parker and Heaney were destroying that game. Uh, mainly Heaney, honestly. And then Parker sort of just caught back up at the end as well. Um, but Lipinski was someone else that was terrifying. I think he was 39 at three-quarter time. And then managed to finish off with, what is that, a 23-point final quarter? I mean, 23-point final quarter isn't a big quarter in any stretch of the imagination. But when you're on 39 points, we'll take that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how the team panned out at the end of the day. Um, what we're going to be looking at this week, captains... Uh, Laird into Collingwood, that's just way too good to pass up. Definitely doing that. Um, and then I think the other one you can maybe look at here is we can go Oliver. Even Miller into Essendon isn't bad. I think they're probably the best ones. I mean, if Hall ends up playing this week, that really sucks. But, I mean, if you ever want to trust Hall, sure. Uh, I think it's just, yeah, if you have Laird, you probably just run Laird into Collingwood 100%. And then whoever you want to put the C on after that if that doesn't work out feel free to but I think this is a pretty good one like Laird will be pretty safe I think won't even have to rely on anyone else after that so yeah I think it's going to be that simple for you but outside that as I said Clary Miller if you really want to risk a parish go for it oh let's switch that around again Ooh, lucky us um, I don't even know who's going to get named probably nobody Let's just hope the team plays. Let's just hope everyone plays. That'd be really nice. Um, I guess we can have a cheeky look at the leagues. Like with, with the leagues, the one that I guess I mainly focus on here is the Verns YouTube one. As you can see, the rest of those, I'm kind of tanking in a lot of them too. We actually dropped down to 10th because we just lost to the bottom of the ladder, um, which really sucks. Um, did us by, I think, 8 points or so. But as I said, I've had a really terrible last few weeks. It really sucks. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, we're just outside of, obviously, the eight there. Hopefully, we can push ourselves back in and then finish strong. Lost them off my leagues, which really sucks. Oh, my goodness. Am I out of the top with shorties as well? Man, I have really been losing. Yeah, one and four. Wow, I'm just getting smashed now. Ah, really disappointing to see. Really disappointing. Oh, well. But yeah, I think hindsight 2020, if, you know, if Parrish was like anyone else, if he was Walsh, if he was Merritt, I think Merritt would have been the best one because one, Merritt's gone off, but two, save 100k, and then that meant that I could have been a bit more aggressive, maybe pushing towards something else, maybe moving Lipinski up to a Libertory or something like that, but oh well, oh well, um... As I said, hindsight's twenty twenty. Can't predict that. We couldn't predict bringing Stewart in and then Stewart going out. Parrish coming in, Parrish getting injured. The whole one, as I said, was predictable. That was just a bit greedy of me. It sucks. It sucks. I think uh, looking at my team as well, weak links here. Short has been very much underperforming. Um, but overall, really hasn't been too bad. Just his last five weeks, I think his average is going to be absolutely dreadful if we look at that. I would love to move short on if possible, but I just don't think it will. Yeah, these three and five round averages, terrible. Um, Cripps is also someone that's had terrible three to five round. And then Lipinski, I think each each one of my positions, not excluding the Rucks, it's like really the, the, the D6, the M8, the F6, they're all a bit lackluster. And I think that's the big difference here. Unfortunately, um, I think I was a bit too greedy with my trades early. I thought the five extra trades, I could be more aggressive with them, a bit more willy-nilly with them, a bit more risky with them, and it just just did not work out this season. But that's fine. We bounce back. We look at next season. Um, plenty of things to reflect on that I'll reflect on at the end of the season. But yeah, I guess that's it overall, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Um, Sorry, it's just been so disappointing the last few weeks, but let's just hope for a bounce back this week. If Parrish comes back this week, I've been pumping out like not the worst scores, and a lot of them were with 21 players, basically. So hey, if we can just, the rest of the players up their game just a little bit, and then Parrish actually back and comes out with a good game into Gold Coast, like we could generally push like a really good score. We really have the team for it, so 
just go have a bit of faith. Anyway, once again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking, subscribing, still watching the videos, even though they've gotten a bit disappointing to finish off the season, but I'll keep putting them out. So thanks again, everyone. Peace later.